having wrapped up the series in Sydney, um, for a lot of people it might seem like a dead rubber, but there's still a lot to play for. Um, especially individually, I think there's still a lot of champion trophy spots up for grabs, uh, which is obviously in the distance, and um, there's still a New Zealand series around the corner as well, so there's still plenty of cricket coming up, and I think it's a really important game to make sure uh, not only you're winning as a team, you're, um, you're keeping that winning momentum, because it's sometimes an easy thing to lose as well. It's been really pleasing to, to probably be um, feeling consistent at crease and the way I've been moving and um, and striking the ball quite consistently. So to um, to come back and get uh, two fifties out of three innings and, and feel like I've hit the ball nicely and um, and do it in my way was was really pleasing. Do you feel as though you're reading the innings and the situation a little bit better now? Yeah, I think that probably comes from being a little bit calmer at the crease and. Um, and probably having a bit more trust in my game. Um, I suppose I probably put a little pressure on myself in probably years gone by uh, to score at a fast rate and um, and probably wasn't, uh, I wouldn't say fully concentrated on the, on the job at hand, but more uh, worried about just scoring fast and making sure I was fit, hitting consistent boundaries, but um, sort of taking a backward step and just um, being able to assess the conditions and know that you have so much more time than you do and um, and just try and back the fact that I can I can clear the ropes at the end and um, and catch up. Can you tell us about being the only bloke to rock up to the optional session? I think it's the second time that's happened now. Oh, it's just the guy's preference. I think they've been, most of them been pretty full on the whole summer and it's been a lot of the test, test squad and I think the other guys, I think Marcus Stoinis is on his way back from Perth at the moment so... Um, the guy, most of the guys have been flat chat for most of the summer and I've sort of been working on a routine and trying to keep that routine as consistent as possible and hopefully that leads to consistent performances on the field as well. So if I can, if it if does start to go wrong, if I do start to score uh, poorly at any stage, I can have at least something to fall back on and, and trust. So that's, that's the only reason I'm here and the other guys obviously just need the rest of there's reports Matthew Wade might be going to Tasmania. Would that change your decision at all to stay in Victoria or look to go elsewhere? Uh, it, had, it would have no bearing um, whatsoever. Um, what Matthew does, I suppose, is his, it's for his family and um, I think he's made that pretty clear and um, everyone fully supports his decision, whatever it is. You get to have a look at the Adelaide wicket yet? What have you made of it? Yeah, I went out there. It's, this is always a pretty good place to bat and... Um, We've had some pretty amazing memories here, uh, especially during that World Cup against Pakistan. It was a pretty incredible game of cricket and we saw that uh, fiery spell from Wahab and I think that'll be, um, hopefully what everyone comes to see is a, is a fired up Pakistan team. A lot of the Australian days I remember growing up are pretty similar to um, the Boxing Day where it's very iconic. It's it's something that you love sitting down on an Australian day with a barbie and um, and watching Australia play one day cricket and generally an entertaining game of one day cricket. So I think that's that's something that we'll be hoping to provide and um, and having probably built up the whole series, been getting better and better as the series has gone on, I think I think we'll be really looking forward to putting in a fully clinical performance throughout the whole game. I think we've shown glimpses with the bat, we've shown glimpses of the ball and glimpses in the field, but to put that perfect game together, which is what we're always striving for in that one day setup, up, um, I think is what we'll be aiming for tomorrow.